New tonight and only on KDKA News at 630, a local mom shares a warning for every parent about hand sanitizer. She tells Heather Abraham what happened to her daughter was a nightmare that no other parent should ever have to endure. It was her second day of kindergarten here at Moon Area's J.H. Brooks Elementary School. She set up her desk with pencils and supplies, including a fresh bottle of hand sanitizer, which was on the list of school supplies for the kindergarten class. By lunch, the five-year-old girl had collapsed. The principal had called and asked me to get to the school immediately. She was like walking a little wobbly in the hall. By the time I made it to the lunchroom, she fell and um, couldn't sit up straight. The mom to three so young children does not, not want to be identified, but did want to share the story of her youngest, telling me that her little girl was rushed to Children's Hospital from the school. She was completely out of it. Um, I tried to wake her and she opened her eyes briefly and she looked at me, but it was almost as if she looked straight through me. She wasn't making eye contact and she started to cry and then she just laid back down. I was very scared. I had no idea. Um, the medic didn't have any idea either. Hours later at the hospital, she came to. No one kisses. Yes, that was a good one. But mom still had no answers as to what happened until the school called again. In this class, each student had their own sanitizer pump bottle at their desk with their name on it for their own personal use. And my daughter had consumed half of that bottle. She consumed six ounces of 70% alcohol. Her blood alcohol level was 0.23. In a statement, the school superintendent, Barry Belaski, told me the health and wellness of our students is a priority. The district provides hand sanitizing stations that are available in each of our schools. In addition, students are permitted to have hand sanitizer in their desk or backpack. However, students are not required to keep it in their desk or backpack, particularly if a parent or guardian does not want them to have it. We've definitely seen an increase. Dr. Michael Lynch, head of the Pittsburgh Poison Center, says there has been an increase of kids across the state ingesting hand sanitizer. In Pennsylvania, in the last 18 months, since the beginning more or less of the pandemic, we've seen a 56% increase in hand sanitizer exposure cases compared to the 18 months prior to that. Dr. Lynch says that amounts to about 2,300 cases, most under the age of five, and about 6% of those kids needed to go to the hospital. Hand sanitizers typically will have around 70% or so ethanol, which means that they're about 140 proof. Uh, even a relatively small amount, a few ounces, could be enough to get intoxicated. I'm hopeful that, you know, there's not going to be any long-term effects after this. The little girl is okay now and back at school, but her mom still worries about what happened and wants to make sure other parents and caregivers are aware of the dangers. Heather Abraham, KDKA News.